We have here a 2005 Baja 25 Outlaw. Uh, this was just recently brought back to us. It was sold from us new, uh, and he just really needs to get out of uh, boating at this time, and he brought it back to us for, uh, for, for sale, for us to sell it for him. I'm gonna pan around a little bit, look down at this hull. It's very, very nice. In fact, you can probably still, I hope you can still see it in the picture. You can even on the bottom of the, the hull here, you can see some shine. It's very, very nice. He always took care of it. He washed it after every use. I'm gonna pan around here a little bit. Uh, it's even got a nice trailer under it. It's a Shorelander trailer, very nice trailer. Come around here, take a look at the, the drive. Even that, it's got shine to it, nice edges to it, nice stainless prop. Let me back off a little bit here. And you can see the graphics again. And I'm gonna come up to Ted, up top here. And I'm going to uh, try to climb in as gracefully as I, as I can. And Ted's gonna tell you a little bit about the, the inside of the boat. Welcome aboard. What we have here is, as Dennis mentioned, 2005 Baja 25 Outlaw. Uh, this boat features the SST graphics on the boat and a lot of the features that came with the SST, for instance, the snap-in carpet, cockpit cover, things of that nature. Uh, what's also included on this boat is a 496 HO, 425 horsepower, with the Bravo X-Drive, only 98 hours on the engine, as per the hour meter on the uh, on the boat here. The boat's also equipped with the fl freshwater flush. As you know, the 496 is a closed cooled engine, and the freshwater flush will flush the heat exchanger, so you can uh, you can clean it out every every time you go out. Uh, this boat, as, as you mentioned, was very well maintained. Inside is no different from the out. Uh, in fact. Uh, as we as we go through, the vinyl is in outstanding condition. Uh, no uh, no cuts that even suggest that would be remarkable. This boat, the boat's in great shape. Uh, certainly worth taking a look at. Uh, inside the boat, we have the aero drop down bolster seats. What's nice about them is if you're just cruising out of the inlet here. You can you can get yourself real comfortable behind the helm. Very comfortable seated position here in the boat. But if you get into some chop, easily. There it goes, it drops down. So now what you can do is you can get behind the helm and uh, kind of go with the flow with the waves. The horsey controls give you separate shift from throttle. It's a real performance feel here on this boat. It would be, uh, anything else would be like driving a, driving a, a car with an automatic transmission. Now this, this is like driving a stick shift. Real, real smooth, real easy to operate, uh, real fun to drive. Nice big monster gauges up here in front of you. A compass up on the top. Uh, boats equipped with trim tabs with indicators located right here. Also what we have is a fire extinguishing system indication right here as well. Uh, and depth finder located down here. So everything you have is right here. All the switches easy at your fingertips here. But the commanding view up over the windscreen here. Uh, this boat will run in the upper 60s very easily with this setup. Glove box up here, AM FM CD, 12 volt receptacle. As you noted here, cup holders all around. Everybody has a place for their beverage. Inside the boat, we have a snap-in carpet, uh, which it, it, again is in is in terrific condition. Um, looks great, no stains, no nothing. Real, really well maintained boat here. The cabin door easily slides open. You have lots of room to get down in, and uh, I'll show you. Come on inside. You almost have to see this to really appreciate, but there is a ton of room inside here. Uh, what this boat features is opposing sofas inside here where you could easily, if you had to, get out of the weather. Four people, two people can easily sit here. You got cup holders, very comfortable position. There's, um, there is uh, storage underneath both these seats as well, as well as storage up here, storage up here. Loads of room to put things. Plus the, the V-berth here, there's storage underneath. Uh, typically a porta potty could go here. However, this guy's got all kinds of stuff that he's letting go with the boat. There's anchor, anchor line, uh, vests, you name it, it's, it's here. It's pretty much a, pretty much a ready-to-go setup. And again, the condition inside here doesn't even look like it's been used. It's uh, remarkable. No stains, no cuts, no, no nothing. The V-berth, if you wanted to overnight on a boat like this, you certainly could. I'll give you an idea here of the, 
of the kind of space that's in here, two people could easily, easily overnight. Two ventilated hatches here that open up to let some air inside as well. Speakers inside here and gimbal uh, lighting. Well, that's a 25 outlaw. Oh, a couple things to keep in mind also. Uh, what we have here, the uh, cockpit cover is in like new condition. Uh, there is a full cover for it as well, a custom Baja full cover that goes with the boat. That was utilized most of the time, so the, the, the deck and everything is in remarkable condition. There is also included with this a winter storage cover as well. So you've got three covers for the boat. Cockpit cover in remarkable condition, a uh, custom cover and a winter cover as well. Before I finish up here, I'm just thinking, why don't we take a look at the engine compartment? There's some things to look in there and that should wrap us up here. Dual batteries in the back here.